Today's topic is... Starting from scratch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to... Way Pan. I'm Cal. And I'm Sunny. Today's topic is... Starting from scratch in the miniature painting hobby. Alright, and why are we doing this? We made another article called Hobby Burnout. We had a friend who had Hobby Burnout. We gave him the article. He said it didn't work out. We made a video and then he said it did work out. So if you're a person who likes reading, check out the article link below, starting from scratch. If you like watching, keep on watching. It's easy for you to say. That's the first thing that I say in this article. And in this case, it is. For somebody who's already in the hobby, mm -hmm. it is easier to start from scratch. And the reason is, is the first resource that we want you to acquire. It's which, a friend. Yes, it's a, a friend. A friend who already knows the hobby, to be, to be specific. Yes, yes, or who is already in the hobby. Yes, the reason why we say this is that this hobby has two aspects to it. The cost and the fact that painting is a physical skill. Yes, the reason why we say you should paint with a friend before you even get into the hobby. The cost, as we said, but also it's a physical skill. That means that you have to have certain things that you know through your physicality, i.e. muscle memory, breathing techniques, how you hold the model, you know, lots of physical activities are involved that you can't just watch a video and figure it out. You need to feel the process. And to feel the process, you need someone to show you how to do it. And in your article, you actually said the quote, a thousand days of diligent study is not worth one day with a great teacher. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's not the same. You just need that one person to help you out when you're starting out. All right, now let's move on to the actual things that you need. So the first thing you need is three brushes. And in my opinion, those three ones are small, medium, large. Yes, if you're using standard paint brushes, they would be a size two, a size one, and a size zero brush. And I recommend, this is mostly for cost, but also for quality. The Israel Saycab Ah. Recab. Israel Recab Sable Brushes. Yes. yes. Sable Brushes are something that's commonly used in this hobby just because they keep their tips really well. And you want brushes that keep their tips very well with a, yes. you know, something that's so tiny and detailed. And most people are using Sable Brushes. But Sable Brushes, extremely, extremely expensive. They range at $100 and above. So these are more like $20, $30 brushes. Still yes. expensive. And we're, we are but... speaking Australian prices here. Yeah. Next up, we've got tools. Mm. You want a dull knife, you want a sharp knife, you want clippers, and you want the glue appropriate for your model. So why do we need these tools in particular? Okay, so you want the sharp knife for the reasons why you'd usually want a sharp knife to get off those particular... Nubs? Yeah, nubs and that sort of thing. Yeah. But the reason why you want a dull knife is you can use that to scrape off mold lines. Mm, and this is applicable for the soft plastic models. It's more for the hard ABS plastic models, the ones that you will get in the frames. Yes. Soft plastic is more the stuff that you'll get in board games. Uh -huh. And you're actually going to want the sharp knife for that. Ah, yes. And there are different types of model materials. They're metal models, soft plastic, resin, hard plastic. So that's why we come back to the point of the hobby glue that's specific to the model that you are using. So two types, super glue and hobby glue plastic glue yes so plastic glue once you apply it to a plastic surface it melts it so that you can bind another plastic part to the melted part and that just fuses it together yes but uh like there'll be certain model types where you might want like a two-part epoxy or whatever the point is you get the glue that is appropriate for you but the other things that you want are actually very common household items you'll want some blue tack you'll want some toothpicks you'll you want some paper towels paper towels are the big one for me and a parchment well baking tray paper yes so yeah. we say that one of the things that you want to start out with is a wet palette this will help you keep your paint longer and it will help you paint longer speaking of paint let's talk about paints in our opinion you want essentially seven paints you want the three primary colors red yellow blue 
you want black and white, and you want two skin tones, your base skin tone and your lighter skin tone. And it's good to reference your own skin tone starting out because that's the color that you are often seeing the most, your own skin tones. So starting out, you're not gonna be able to know all the theories and different shades of skin tones and undertones and blah, 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 blah. But starting out with just two, a dark and a light will be good. And starting out with your specific one is probably better. Yeah, for example, I would be probably using something like Cadian Flesh Tone and Flayed One Flesh because I'm as pale as a ghost, whereas <laughs> you would be... I'm a, I'm a, I don't know the Games Workshop colors. I'm just going to say dark purple brown and light red brown. <laughs> yeah. All right. But those are the things that you want. Now let's get on to hobby specific tools. Now I'm going to take a breath. And we're going to uh, make sure that we get this run this correct. Box. Yes. All right. You don't want dry brushes. You want makeup brushes. Specifically, this is the set that I think you should get. It is so cheap. I have bought so many of these. Like they come in like a set of twenty, and like all the different brushes that not even a regular woman needs. <laughs> all right. So you want the. 15 Jessup 15 Zinfandel something something T284 brush T284 <laughs> brush set. We'll write it down on the screen. Yes, it'll be on the screen, you know, probably floating We've around. We've said like this the brush set like a bajillion times in a bajillion other places, and we still can't get it right. <laughs> yes, but there's a reason why we keep bringing it up because it is that good. Like, honestly. It should be your default dry, dry brush, brush set. set. Just use that. Don't bother with the, the Citadel ones. Just use that. Yeah. You won't regret it. Speaking of specific hobby gear, the next would be washers. And we recommend just starting out with one. Nullin oil. And essentially, that's just a black wash. And that will help you get recesses and that sort of thing. Define shadows and whatnot. Yeah. But in my opinion, you're probably better off learning how to do shadows naturally. Mm, yes, but it is a quick and easy way to just, you know, spice things up a bit. Uh, one tip, don't start with contrast paints. It's a lot more skill and it's not really a beginner friendly tool. Don't listen to whatever other people say. Contrast is something you start with. You don't. Yes, in our opinion, you are going to develop a better skill set by starting out with normal, regular paints. Base or layer if you are using Citadel paints. Yes, if you're using Citadel, but just normal paints. Now, when it comes to priming, I really, really cannot recommend highly enough the process known as a zenithal prime. This is where you prime base black and then you get a white primer and you spray lightly over the top. Best achieved with an airbrush and I think it is worth the investment. But if you are just starting out and you don't know if you're going to continue with this hobby, start out with just the plain old rattle cans. Rattle can or spray can, just a black one and a white one will do. And uh, yeah, why do we prime? You forgot to say that. Okay, the reason why you prime is because that prime is going to bite into the model and it is going to-, to For the paint to grip onto. You yes. can't just paint on straight plastic. It'll just come right out. And that's another thing. Now, not everyone does this, Wash but, your models, guys. Yes. Wash your models. When you get your sprues, it is a good idea to wash the sprue in just some light dish soap and then just rinse it off with plain old water. And that will get the mold release agent off and you're going to have a nicer, better, cleaner start. Now, I guess we've covered everything you need for yes. starting from scratch. Let's go over it. The first thing you need. A friend to teach you how to do things. Brushes. Sizes two, one, and zero. Tools. You want a blunt knife, sharp knife, clippers, and hobby specific glue. Hobby specific tools. You want a dry brush set and a wash. And for the dry brush set, you're using the makeup brushes. Primer. Black and white rattle can or spray can. Paint. 
you want the three primary colors, red, yellow, blue, black and white, and two flesh tone colors. Your flesh tone colors. Yeah. Or skin tone. Mm -hmm. You know what the best way is to start your hobby? I think I know. Keep, Keep those, those brushes, brushes wet. wet. Bye. Bye-bye. Do you think they'll realize that we're adding an end bit to each of these videos now? No, no, nobody will know. Nobody knows these things. Do you think they're prepared for my rant on airbrushes? No, nobody knows these things.